All right, so we're now live with Don Giovanni Records. You can stay on this stream if you want. We're also on Don Giovanni Records. Are we here? Is this me? Yeah. We're live. But is this the Don Giovanni? That's oh, yeah, Don we're Giovanni. On this is Don Tomboy. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, it's me. Thank you, everyone, for listening to our recording um, history. So, this is gonna be just me and Victoria, and Cara's gonna have to join us in one song. Obviously, Downtown Boys has more people in it. Um, we're missing Mary and Joey Dubeck and Joe DeGeorge um, right now. Um, we're very sad to not be with them. We were going to be playing a show, a fundraiser for DSA Cannons and Bernie. Um, last weekend at Market Hotel, that was going to be our scheduled show. We were very sad that didn't happen. Um, but, of course, we all know why we all have to do that. So, yeah, we're doing this just a little duo set here for you. Um, we've never done this before. So This first okay. song is called A Wall. And this song goes out to all the people right now on hunger strike, or not on hunger strike, but currently behind walls. There are people that immigration, customs enforcement, and Customs Border Patrol have, because of white supremacy, arrested and put behind bars. There are people by all U.S. police forces that have put, been put behind bars. And in addition to the pandemic of corona, police brutality and the police deciding to take lives and immigration deciding to take lives is also a pandemic in this country. So how, when, does a wall become just a wall and nothing more at all?
There are people all throughout where we live here in New York, throughout the entire world, that are unable to afford rent because capitalism has made it so that we don't own 100% of our labor. And consequently, rent is so tied to our wage, to how much we bring in. Rent strikes here in New York have a really interesting history because they've always been used as a tactic, a method for further organizing. In the early 20s, terrible housing conditions led to rent strikes here. Even in the 1960s, a group by, called Centro del Mario organized a rent strike in Harlem because of racist housing procedures and laws. Rent strikes have always been a tactic of the people. And that's because if you own land, if you are a landowner in the colonized United States, you own a piece of US imperialism. So landlords run a slippery slope of becoming slumlords. And this is about slumlord stuff. The guy Providence Rhode Island that gave us bed bugs. Also a pandemic. Downtown boys doing this as a duo. Um, this next one is going to be called Wave. Um, okay, so amongst many things going on right now, we're trying to organize, a bunch of entertainment unions are trying to organize to make sure that uh, musicians, um, really anyone with more irregular labor can also be applying for unemployment benefits right now. 
It's under the current system, you probably know, if you're a musician or artist out there. With 1099 payments, you can't actually go into the unemployment system and apply for benefits. Um, so it doesn't make any sense because you probably pay tax on those 1099 benefits, on the 1099 income, um, all that stuff. Musicians are uh, all in that particular position. So a bunch of gig economy workers groups are fighting right now to um, get this um, passed to be able to expand and extend uh, unemployment benefits to cover 1099. Um, income for like Uber drivers, for freelance writers, for musicians. Um, we're trying to organize one specifically for musicians. Um, so if you message us in that time boys account, um, we can show you the letter. Um, we're hopefully going public with this soon. We've probably already talked to a lot of you about this, um, but we'll have that um, up really probably this week, maybe even as short as tomorrow. So really hit us up as soon as possible if you want to be part of that effort. We need as many people as possible um, signed on to that thing because these negotiations, as I'm sure you know, for these benefits packages are happening right now. Um, and we have to get our voices out there as musicians, as people have all lost um, you know, 100% of our income in a lot of cases if you're depending on this uh, music for your, your livelihood. Alright, so keep it going.
next song, we're Downtown Boys, we're two of five of Downtown Boys. We're greatly missing Jonah George, Mary Recolato, Joey Dubeck. We've had a lot of people to make this, even this live stream happen. Um, Jonah George, are you there? I think we're running out of time. We're running out of time. We only got like, uh... Let's do Monk Chulas and Dancing. Alright. Alright, this next song is called Somos Chulas, No Somos Pendejas. And here's the thing. People are being beat up right now because of racist reasons around coronavirus, and that's not okay. And if you're one of the people watching this, my heart goes out to you. The police are still out here. And so yes, the world's obsessed with coronavirus, but we've only put a bunch of gas on all of the things we're experiencing. We've lit it on fire. So in fact, we still have to watch out for each other and not let imperialism take us. Somos chulas, no somos pendejas. Instagram channel, and Joe George is going to be playing um, keyboard on the Downtown Boys channel after this is over. We're going to do one more song for the festival. No, we got to log off. Um, we're Downtown Boys. Please go downtownboys.bandcamp.com. All the bands tonight go buy their stuff. There's the big Bandcamp Day last week, but 
fans are going to continue to hurt. Please go to that. Please get in touch with us to sign on to a letter to get musicians eligible for unemployment, um, all gig workers eligible for unemployment. That needs to happen right now, so send that email right now if you're a musician and you want to get onto that thing. You can Venmo us. It's Leneve underscore underscore. You can send us money on uh, PayPal. It's downtownboysmusic at gmail.com. Send all the bands money. Um, we got Karna in the back. He's in the back called the Camino. Send him money. Uh, we got to uh, keep going. So we're going to do one more song. This one's called... You all know this song. It's called Dancing in the Dark. Mm. Oh, okay. Never and for many of us <laughs> who have been lonely <laughs> together, <laughs> we know all too well what that means. Because we've been lonely together for a while now. Maybe you come into music or you come into friendship or you come into being able to sit with the own, your own thoughts in your head because you know how to be lonely together. There's something that happened with the bailout where the Federal Reserve made a terrible decision by giving CEOs and corporate bailouts more than they actually gave them during the 2008 one, recession. Two, one, two, in fact, four. that's the trend. Watch Joe to George. Oh yeah, watch Joe to George.